Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWC. We're going to the Fast Game Show. Mike C. I'm afraid of what? Hey, today we're going to bring up a topic, man. This is about child discipline. Yeah. Um, very interesting. Uh, I was at work, mm -hmm. and um, the topic just came up, and it got to a heated discussion about uh, disciplining your child. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about beatings and basically, like, corporal punishment, mm -hmm. you know, which one do you agree with? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a 70s baby, mm -hmm. right? So, of course, I got my butt with mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, the way that I grew up was that if you act up in the neighborhood, if the neighbors saw you, you would get a whooping there. Mm -hmm. Then they would call your mother or your father or whoever. I'm like, look, your child did this at the uh, whatever, whatever, and I already tore his behind up. Mm -hmm. So... Then you get a double whooping when you get home. Mm -hmm. Now, if you was living in a two-parent home house, if mom was home first, you got the whooping <laughs> from her. <laughs> and when she called dad, you know what I'm saying, then she went on ahead and uh, you got that whooping when dad got home. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Depending on how tired he was, the, depending on <laughs> the length mm -hmm. of the butt whooping that you would get. <laughs> you know, uh, if you were a girl, you tend to get away with a lot of stuff mm -hmm. if your daddy's a little girl. But if you were a strict parent like myself, you know, it's just, you know, your kids, and I think we discussed this once right. before, mm -hmm. your kids aren't your friends. Your Correct. kids are your kids, no matter right. what age right. they are. Your kids are your kids, Correct. you know. And um, But we're talking about discipline and, and whooping them. Mm -hmm. I agree with it. Yeah. You know, I agree with beating your child's butt. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't agree with beating them to the point of their, you know, they get unconscious or something right. like that. You don't agree with child abuse. Yeah, yeah. child abuse. Yeah. And one of the, one of the many things that um, really ticked me off about uh, uh, why I brought this topic up because we were talking about a social worker, and you know, I, I don't want to be uh, uh, offended or I don't want to offend uh, social workers out there, but Sometimes a lot of social workers don't think commonly. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't say, okay, you can't treat your child like this. And uh, you got to talk to them and you got to do it. That don't work. That don't work. This is, not, this is not the 70s. This is not the 60s. You know, it's beyond that point. Mm -hmm. Kids get away with a lot of stuff because, especially in school, they can spit at the teacher hit the teacher, punch the teacher, mm -hmm. and they know that, you know, CPS is a is a phone call away, so you can't touch me, the teacher can't touch me, mm -hmm. and the parents can't touch you, so what are you supposed to do if your child get out of hand? Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, right now, man, social media and stuff is everywhere, and like you said, kids get away with a lot more stuff because somebody's always got the finger on the record button. Mm -hmm. Right now, kids, kids, kids are smart. Mm -hmm. Kids know, basically, I can do what I want, and you know, and... I got CPS or whoever up on my side, regardless of the fact of how I act. But that's not the case, man. Kids should be respectful to adults, to each other. Because, you know, back then, as far as communities and everything like that, there was a lot of, uh, they were more close-knitted, you know. And I think a lot of people turn a blind eye to a lot of stuff that goes on. People not caring for other people, man. That's why the world is the way it is today. We need to get those communities back, man, you know, being know your neighbors and everything, you know, talk to them and everything. Just just have that community, man. So you look out for me, I look out for you, man. Take care of each other, man. That's what the whole world is about. We should be taking care of each other. And but far as your kids, man, kids should be respectful. They're not your friends. When you tell them to do something, granted kids a little, of course yeah. they're going to be disobedient and stuff like that, and they start getting older and older and older. When you're being so lax on the kid when they're younger, okay, they're going to grow up with that same mentality that uh, I can do what I want. Right. You know what I'm saying, and just that talking, uh, talking doesn't always doesn't always get it. Sometimes you need that rear end spanked. Mm -hmm. You know, you need punishment. You know, you need all those things. You just shouldn't be whapping the kid upside the head. Did I? No, no, no. It's elevations to that, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got to be fair, and you got to think too with, with your mind too. And even out in public and stuff, um, kids kids should know. You know, and I tell my son all the time: if you get out in public, you're rep representation of me and your mom. You know, and if everybody had this mindset, I think kids and everybody would be 
more in line. You know, you wouldn't have so much craziness and stuff like that, man. Your kids, your kids are you, man. Y'all representation of the family, of the household, man. So you get that stuff straight. Teach your kids, educate your kids, and it's going to be a better world for everybody. <clears throat> now, I was a strict parent, mm -hmm. and, or I'm still a strict parent. Mm -hmm. My beliefs or how I raised my daughter was on how I grew up. Mm -hmm. My grandmother and my mother was strict. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got whippings constantly for doing stuff that I wasn't supposed to do. Correct. So that made me a better person. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not in jail. I didn't get locked up for murder. You know what I'm saying? I had troubles growing up, mm -hmm. but I knew just how far to take it. Mm -hmm. You know, kids today are just so but lax. Well. They are so lax. They don't know the they don't know the trials and tribulations that we had to go through when we were smaller. They have a lot more opportunities than we had Most when definitely. we were growing up. Most definitely. And if you like if, if you just go back in the day to mm -hmm. when we were small, mm -hmm. uh and you talk back to oh. one of your aunts or your especially your grandmothers, mm -hmm. the grandmothers would knock you down something serious. Mm -hmm. I mean, they would slap you in the mouth so fast. You wouldn't even know what happened, man. And my grandmother, rest her soul, there was a switch. Uh, there was a tree that was in front of our yard. And every time we got in trouble, this goes for Sean, Wanda, Tanya, my sister Keisha, my cousin Paul. Every time we would get in trouble, my grandmother would say, go get that switch. Mm -hmm. So if you brought back like a little tiny switch, she was like, okay, let me get that. She'll put it in her little coffee can spit jar tobacco job and she had all these other switches lined up and it seemed like I got in trouble so much the the tree would never run out of branches man because I would constantly be having to pick and, and my grandmother was ruthless man uh, my grandfather he was kind of like he was docile uh, Ma Annie when we used to go over her house we were there to be seen and that her, she had like little enticing stuff on the coffee table, like these little candies. figurines and, oh, and the yeah, candies toys. that stuck together. Yeah. And you couldn't <laughs> touch them because, I I mean, my mother and uh, my stepfather, they're in the kitchen playing cards with my Aunt Annie. And my Aunt Annie is constantly looking, you know what I'm saying, in the living room to see if we touch anything. And if you touch something, man, it was, it was a done deal. Mm -hmm. It, it was a done deal. But, I mean, I, I, I just say that to, you know, it's certain ways that you have to take with your with your kids. Mm -hmm. You can't be docile with them, especially if something traumatic happens. Now, corporal punishment, I don't believe in that, but I believe if I have a son, mm -hmm. and now I wouldn't do this with my daughter, but if I had a son mm -hmm. and he starts smelling himself, and he's over that age where he think that he can run over top of me, you know, 17 years old, 16, 17, I'd be like, okay, look, we're going to go to Target or Walmart, we're going to get some boxing gloves, we're going to put it on. Since you think you can disrespect me, I'm going to forget that you's my son for about two minutes, and I'm going to whip him. Now, I'm not going to beat him like I, it's a dude on the street, but yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a tap his chin to let you know, look, I'm your father. I brought you into this world, like Bill Cosby said, like and I take you yeah, out. Yeah, that's right. Now that's, right. that's the time when you gotta lay hands on your kids. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you lay hands on your kids because you know they crying and if they want some candy or something like that, and you tell them shut up because that's what the lady was doing. That's how the whole thing came up because she was yelling at the kid because he was crying because he wanted some candy and she told him no mm -hmm. and all this other stuff, but. I mean, I, I don't believe in punishment like that, but I do believe that you have to lay hands on your child, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, if they get to that point, mm -hmm. to let them know, hey, look, I'm your parent, I'm That's your right. father, or I'm your mother. You will not disrespect me. Correct. If you disrespect that. me, there's a door behind you, because if you think you're grown enough there to you know. talk to me in any old kind of way, them streets outside waiting for you, That's right. you know? So, um... I mean, I mean, this this topic can go anyway. I would love for people to chime in on this because yeah. they probably would anyway. Mm -hmm. But yeah, beating your kids and spanking your kids to me is two different things. It really, spanking is. is good. Beating 
to the point where bruises and they can't, you know what I'm saying, they breaking arms and you got to take them to no, Kaiser no, late at night? No. Nah, nah, nah. No need but for that. Meeting your kids? Yeah, 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 yeah. You you got to, man. Mm -hmm. You you got to. You know what I'm saying? Not for, not for stupid stuff, but just for disrespectful stuff. Yeah. You know? I'm in total agreement with you. Bro. And, you know, we're going to cut this short, but I, I, I'm just saying, like, I'm the type of parent that if your child comes over my house and they break something accidentally, mm -hmm. I'm going to be like, okay, well, look, I'm going to go ahead and call your folks, mm -hmm. tell them, hey, look, the Xbox costs whatever. Let's go to Target or Walmart, go ahead and replace this real quick. Mm -hmm. If it was on an accident, I'm calm with it. But if your child come in my house and like, yeah, I broke it, whatever, I'm going to beat the heck out of them. <laughs> I'm going to beat the heck out of them. I'm going to beat them while he on the phone with CPS. Mm -hmm. And that's a legitimate thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to beat him then like, look, hey, your child did this. He bucked up at me, and I had to put, I had to put my hands on him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to beat him as he's my child, but I'm going to let him know when he see this hand, mm -hmm. he's going to be like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give him the clinches. Mm -hmm. I definitely am, man, and I I believe in that. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. All right, I believe in it too, Fred. Discipline your child's man. That's it. That's all I got. Yeah. Uh huh. See, I, I don't want to make it a race thing because mm -hmm. I want to continue on this. So if you want to come on the show to talk about this, please do. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say no more because I don't want to offend nobody. <laughs> so let's go ahead and close. All let's right. Like always, show. you guys can hit us up at thegameshow at gmail.com. If you want us to review something, just want to say what's up or comments on the show, man. Yeah, and please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks and join our SteamOS community and our website community where you can get a lot of free stuff, man. That's right. That's right. All right. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. The Gamer Show. See you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.